Let's explore the secrets of sperm. The journey sperm take to reach the egg is as long and tough as a grown man swimming about five kilometers. Yet, strangely, so many of them do manage to reach the place where the egg is waiting. How do sperm, with no eyes or brain, find their way to the egg? First, the energy that moves the sperm's tail comes from the mitochondria located in the middle section between the head and the tail. But since sperm have almost no cytoplasm, there's not much space to store energy. So they need a supply of nutrients from outside. The key nutrient is fructose, which is contained in semen. When semen is produced, the seminal vesicles secrete fructose. Thanks to this fructose, sperm can keep swimming for quite a long time even outside the body. Pretty amazing, right? There's a funny joke in the field of biology. The reason men release hundreds of millions of sperm at once is because none of them ever stop to ask for directions. <laughs> but as scientists observed how sperm move, they noticed something strange. Compared to how they swim, the time it takes sperm to reach the egg is surprisingly short. And the closer they get to the egg, the more active they become. That means that sperm might actually know where the egg is and swarm toward it on purpose. The path to the egg is a tough one. Sperm must swim all the way from here to there, about 20 centimeters in a straight line, which is roughly like a man swimming five kilometers. On top of that, the path splits into two and has obstacles everywhere. Under the microscope, sperm seem to move randomly with no clear direction, as if they're just swimming aimlessly. Yet despite that, they reach the egg surprisingly fast, and many of them find it with precision. Scientists were curious and started researching. They found that sperm reached the egg quickly because the contractions of the uterus help move them along. In addition, Inside a woman's body, sperm become even more active. The female reproductive organs release special molecules that transform the sperm, allowing them to gain what's called fertilizing ability. Only sperm that have acquired this ability can actually fertilize an egg. You've probably heard this saying before, we were all number one when we were born. Most people believe they were the winning sperm. But the truth is, the sperm that arrive first usually can't fertilize the egg. Even the luckiest sperm can reach the egg in just 30 minutes. But without fertilizing ability, they can't complete fertilization. The ones that succeed are actually those that arrive later. So sadly, we're not the first place sperm. Still, acquiring fertilizing ability is an essential step towards success. Once a sperm gains that ability, it becomes supercharged, just like Goku turning into a Super Saiyan. It swims faster and generates more power. Now the sperm, fully energized, sets off to find the egg. When in this hyperactivated state, it even develops the ability to sense where the egg is. Sperm find the egg in two ways. First, by sensing temperature differences. Recent studies have shown that sperm can detect a temperature difference of about 2 degrees Celsius between the narrow part of the fallopian tube and the warmer ampulla where the egg is found. They swim from the cooler area toward the warmer one. Once they reach the ampulla, they switch to the second method, detecting chemical signals. The egg releases substances that attract sperm. The exact nature of these substances is still under study, but one strong candidate is the hormone progesterone. Guided by the chemical signal released by the egg, the sperm moves towards it, enters, and fertilization occurs. So far, this is what science has discovered about how sperm find the egg. But there's still a lot we don't know about the human fertilization process. Unlike sea urchins or frogs, whose fertilization happens outside the body and can be observed directly, human fertilization occurs inside the body, making it difficult to watch the process in detail. Still, one thing is certain, we weren't the first sperm to arrive, we were the sperm that knew where to go. And maybe, just like that, life isn't about being the fastest, but about swimming steadily toward the goal you've chosen for yourself. That's all for today's Fishy Science. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. This has been Fishy Science. 
uncovering the mysteries of strange things through science.